understand context, then you start to see a lot of errors on other things these coats all around there. And that's why so-called quote unquote black Israelites are a sore thumb when it comes to urban development. Okay? And that's the reason why we are dedicated to come out here to actually show the true context of the Bible. Now, the true context of the Bible is taking ourselves out of the picture, and not including you, you, or myself. The Bible is exclusively dealing with the nation, okay? And to prove that is because of the covenants, promises, and all the things that are hoped for, for a particular nation, okay? So, that's the true and, uh, and official context of this book. It is dealing with a particular nation. Now, as far as that 12 tribes are sound, you can see. Yeah, you guys don't have right, it. We don't have it. It's not in there. It's not in there. So, it's called Gaul's Wormwood. These doctrines that they push UFOs, nuclear missiles, right? It's not scriptural. Uh, the 12 tribes are. It's not scriptural. They use Genesis the 49 chapter and say the latter days is dealing with now. When the latter days was just clearly dealing with them crossing over to the promised land and the things that they would have to go through. They use Genesis the 49 chapter and say the latter days is dealing with now. When the latter days was just clearly dealing with them crossing over to the promised land and the things that they would have to go through. It said they totally take it out of context. Haiti, right? They say Levi and Simeon right, yeah. is Dominican Republic and Haiti. But Levi was prophesied to be scattered amongst the 12 tribes. Right. So how do you get them all bundled up in Haiti? And only half an island at that. They ain't even giving the whole thing right. out and they say we bug down, we demons, and I'm not, I'm not preaching my case to you. I'm just letting you know that I know you guys see black Hebrew Israelites, but they're all not the same. I don't know. You might like be Israelite. I don't know. I don't know. You might like be Israelite. I don't know. I don't know. You might like be Israelite. I don't know. I don't. No, I don't look, look, relax. Man, hold your peace. Hold your peace. So I can see your discrepancies, okay? I don't know. You might like be Israelite. I don't know. I don't know. Look, look, relax. Man, hold your peace. Hold your peace. So I can see your discrepancies, okay? So I can see your discrepancies, okay? So I can see your discrepancies. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Barakah, Hakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Baba Kwayim, that's to the elect. I want to touch on a video, okay? Um, I believe this is on uh, one of Vocab's channels or JTW Ministries. Ex GMS member exposed GMS. So I don't get it, you know, I don't get it. This guy, or J, uh, Jesus is the word, these guys, they hate the Israelites in general. But somehow they'll latch on to another Israelite just to expose another Israelite. I don't know, if you guys can't say that this, these, these uh, Edomites are the devil, then that's, that's your problem. And anybody who sits here and um, tries to give understanding to a devil, then that's... <laughs> That's your problem as well. You know this guy, uh, I believe his name Nazariah, he says, I can see your discrepancy vocab. Vocab has a discrepancy against Israelites in general. So I can't see his discrepancy. I see the discrepancy, but I can't have no agreeance because we have different beliefs and the different so-called sects inside the group of the Hebrew Israelites. At the, at the end of the day, so does the Christians. Those are the Calvinist Christians, the Baptists, and the uh, Roman Catholics. They all have different beliefs, okay? But we don't go up there and say, well, I can see your discrepancy. No, goddamn well, I can't see no di your discrepancy, okay? You know, your discrepancy is against the whole Israelites in general. But vocab is using that 
divide and conquer tactic like the Edomites do. Anyway, this guy, this is crazy. This guy goes on to say, um, you know, again, vocab will listen to anything that, that when it's against GMS, you know, he'll follow it. I mean, he won't follow it, but he'll make you believe he's following it just to come against you because he hates Great Millstone. But anyway, this guy goes into the 12 tribes chart. He said he doesn't believe in the chariots. He doesn't believe in the 12 tribes chart. He doesn't believe in the nuclear missiles. Well, damn, what the hell do you believe in, man? Okay, what do you believe in? It's because of the chariots and it's because of the nuclear missiles. It's all about salvation. Do these guys really want to stay here in America? Do they want to continue? Do they love it here? Okay. And I had somebody left a comment that said, um, it, it was positive. They said, well, I like, you know, I like what y'all do because, and they said they was atheists. They said, well, we get, you know, you get on everybody, even other Israelites. And people respect that, okay? But mostly it's for the fight of the, the, the defense of the doctrine. Not because uh, someone's saying how, somehow you look or you've lied or whatever. It's because of the defense of the doctrine. That's what this is about. Anyway, he goes on to say that um, since the Levites were scattered, how the hell could they be on the board? Okay. When you read Matthew 22 and 9, it says, Go ye to the highways and bid to the marriage. Hell, we all scattered. How can you link them to one landmass? It's simple. You're dealing with an identity, a loss of identity. Jeremiah 17 and 4, I think. Thou discontinue from thy heritage. Um, but you know, it's these guys that followed that 12 tribe chart. That's how they came into the truth. Okay. That's how, that's what they did. They followed it. Okay. But they flipped it around and repacked it and, and resold it. Okay. That's what these guys did. Okay. They followed the name. Yahabashi Shah. I heard him say they hopefully elect. They looked at Vokam alone and said, uh, he's a confusion of face. So really they're still teaching a GMS tool that's what I see they're still teaching the GMS tool but they flipped it around okay he also goes on to say well it's quite a few things he said but you know it's what it is you know let me go back because he did uh, with the 12 tribe sign it is identity for our people okay so if you have a guy here in America who's from uh, Haiti, well, hey, that's where my forefathers stem from. You know, you have what you know what you call again identification, like a photo, like a license, so to speak. You get pulled over, and you can be a Virginia, and you might have uh, a Maryland's license, driver's license. You know, so the police know where you're from. You'll say, "Well, I'm from Maryland," okay, but yet you're here in Virginia. This is to bring the scattered sheep back, and everybody has to be able to identify, okay, with a tribe, because these tribes have different spirits, okay, or understanding how people operate, the brothers operate, so, I don't see the harm in it, the, the one guy said it was because of the hook, well, that hook is what got everybody coming into the truth, now you're going to throw out that hook, okay, and there's many scriptures on that, about going out and teaching our people. What are you supposed to show them? You know, when you go to uh, you go to high school, middle school, whatever school you go to, you have a chalkboard and you got a pointer, and everybody looks at that board. Everybody pays attention to that shit, don't they? These are just rebellious children, man. Anyway, so he goes on to talk about um, that was old school. Um, the uh, this is not the last day. Again, they don't believe in the chariots. They don't believe in missiles. They don't believe in anything dealing with future prophecy. Maybe they love it here in America. Okay, let's get a scripture real quick. It's Romans 15 and 4. Okay. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, to, uh, learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay, because there are some things that happened in the past, which is true. Uh, but there's some things you can uh, link to the future prophecies as well. Okay? The day of a... Well, let's read that. Let's go to Second Peter 3 and 3. 
3 and 8. Salakia. That whole third chapter is good. It says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord a thousand years. So wait a minute. So if 2,000 years ago, you've seen a lot of these biblical incidents happen and more in, in years further behind that. So you're talking it's only been three, four, five days to the Lord? Okay? It's only been three days. It's been two days now. This is 2019. So it's only been two days to the Lord? So wait a minute. So that don't have anything to do? Anyway. And a thousand years as one day. The Lord deals in a different time zone, so to speak. It would be different. Okay? So I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm just touching on just the quick things he said. Just hit points. Okay? He said, um, vocab can be an Israelite. You know, where again, where did he get that? Where did he get everything he said? Okay? I mean, the greatest, you know, going into the missiles, the greatest things that, uh, the, the greatest uh, weapon ever formed by man which was really by the Lord, that wouldn't be in the scriptures. That's almost like saying the uh, the uh, transatlantic slave trade shouldn't uh, be in the scriptures. It's the same. That's what they're saying. And it's, it's like saying that because you have something, the greatest things, you know, you would think that the greatest things that ever happened on this planet would be in the scriptures. You know, yeah, how was y'all walking the earth? Definitely should be in the scriptures. But you got guys taking that out. I was no son of God. This is what guys do. Revelation 22 and 18 and 19. These guys add into the scriptures. And they're taking away from the scriptures. They're doing the same damn thing. There's no Jesus. Which it isn't. But there's no, no savior. That's what these guys say. Then you got the Edomites. Uh, the, the slavery uh, had nothing to do with the... Uh, Deuteronomy 28 has nothing to do with the transatlantic slave trade. All other trade, all other slaveries was minimal, minimal to none compared to this, uh, this transatlantic slave trade. But that's wiped away. Missiles being formed that I just did a video on Chernobyl. Okay, the disaster of of how radiation has killed has killed hundreds of thousands of people, and still doing it to this day. Or causing some form of, of effects to people. But that wouldn't be in the scriptures either. Nuclear missiles melting people's skin. Let's get another scripture. Okay. Let's go to Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plan where the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Okay. So this technology that the Most High God that put on Esau, he already had it, you know? Rain and fire down on Sodom, okay? Goes on to say, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, okay? And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What kind of weapon would do that, man? What would do that? What would cause uh, someone's eyes to melt? Uh, in there while they're standing on their feet okay that's crazy and it just doesn't make sense that uh, these guys will not recognize something is great that, uh, the, the greatest of destruction like the most high just built them just just the um, just to use countries to stalemate each other or whatever they're just sitting there. And even Esau knows it. Esau knows that this place is going to be destroyed. He's building bunkers. He knows it. Not, look, something that could, could uh, destroy uh, lands and kingdoms and nations. You want to tell me that's not biblical? They got space stations. They got underground bunkers. They got bunkers in the mountains. And you mean to tell me that that wouldn't be biblical? Us waking up to the fact that we Israelites on the 12 tribes chart is what they call it. Really, it's 
it's just a it's a, a sign for the Israelites. They're against the elect waking up. They are against Israel, man. These guys are against the truth. They are against Israel. If I if I really even didn't believe in the 12 tribes chart, or I just didn't didn't feel a certain way about it, I would look at it and say, well, damn, that's our identity, that's our heritage. Whether they're in Haiti, whether they're in the Dominican Republic, where, wherever they wherever they are, whether they're in Brazil, and they're going to say that. Well, why don't say nothing about? Because it all links back to your identity, and that's what this is about: awakening to your identity. And these guys just want to take your identity card and cut it and, and, and throw it away. They want to send you back into slavery. They don't care about heritage. That's all I have on that, Shalom.